From NBC News, this is Today with Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Cuffey, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And the United Plates of Thanksgiving. We are kicking off the holiday like never before with 52 chefs from all over the country here to help make sure your turkey dinner is a huge success today, Wednesday, November 27th, 2019. We're the chefs from the East. Ready for a feast! We're from the Midwest. We put our chips to the test. We're from out west. Our is your best. Ready for Thanksgiving! Man, what's better than right now? <laughs> Welcome back to today. Sonny Anderson bringing it in. Thanks for being with us on this Wednesday morning. Those are our chefs marching. It looks kind of a little bit like a second line. The day before Thanksgiving, we got the Morgan State University magnificent marching machine helping spread that holiday cheer. Yeah, no kidding. You guys, we have chefs. And when we said 52, we meant 52. Count them. 52 from all around the country, Puerto Rico and D.C. Yeah, they yeah. travel with their dishes, their <laughs> tips from their Thanksgiving table. Uh, Al Roker here representing New York City. He's the New York City chef. Here's the thing. You know what's been cool? I've been watching the yeah, chefs yeah. like hang out with each yeah, other yeah. And, and like talk. Take They're healthy. having a blast out there. They are. My yeah. second favorite thing about our show is watching Roker dance yes, over there. Man. Eve dance. You know how you, you get do. something better than well, <laughs> this no, is that's not it. that good. <laughs> There's a little mini parade happening outside our window. Another parade taking place right here on the plaza. That's right. It is time to officially kick off United Plates of Thanksgiving. We brought in 52 chefs from all over the country to bring us their foolproof holiday hacks. That's right. And in fact, millions of Americans are preparing for the biggest feast of the year. We hope to make it your family's best. Yet, sit back, relax, maybe take a few notes or check out today.com food because we're dedicating the rest of our morning to these celebrated chefs who will be sharing their tips and tricks of the turkey and all the trimmings, savory sides, decadent desserts. We have your entire Thanksgiving table covered. My what God, is this is a lot. This is awesome. I love this. Parading our chefs in the Morgan State University's magnificent <laughs> marching machine from Baltimore, Maryland. They're 130 strong. They'll be leading the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade tomorrow. Not bad for their first performance in the parade, by the way. Woo! So, from our family to your family, Happy Thanksgiving! We're just getting started. We'll be back after a local news and weather. We're just getting warmed up. 8.30 now on this Wednesday morning, November 27th. That is the Morgan State University magnificent marching machine helping get our amazing crowd get them started for the holiday weekend. We are here on Thanksgiving Eve. I love a marching man. That's the magnificent marching machine for Morgan State. Speaking of the holidays, guys, we are dedicating the rest of our show this morning to helping make sure your Thanksgiving feast is the best ever. 52 chefs from all over the United States of America, plus Washington, D.C., and Puerto Rico. They've got the ingredients on hand. They've got the spirit on hand. Spread out all across the studio, as well as out here in Rockefeller Plaza as well. We have grouped them into three regions, West Coast, Midwest, and East Coast, and the chefs will be sharing special recipes, plus their best tips and tricks from their area of the country. Now it is time for what we've been waiting for, the United Plates of Thanksgiving. We've brought in 52 chefs from all across the nation with recipes, tips, and tricks to make your holiday meal stand out. So we've divided the chefs into three groups. Each will share a tip for you for your turkey, your sides, your dessert. And the groups are the East, the Midwest, plus the South, and the West. And we're going to start out West, all right? The East, from all the states. They've all brought their dishes. We're going to start with Phil the Grill Johnson yes. from Arizona. Yes, yes. Yeah. What's your you know, I'm representing the A state. Yeah. You know, we like heat. You yeah. know, Southwest heat. like heat. Yeah. So we got, you got a uh, slice a little bit of jalapeno. Jalapeno. Yeah, add that right into your brine. What? Kick up the spice Boom. on your turkey. Is it yummy? <laughs> yes, it's yes. delicious. Hey, what else? You know what? We what? got some chipotle right here. Yeah. It has some smokiness, a little bit of heat. You know what? what? Mix that up and put that into your gravy. Put that in the gravy. Woo! I love it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kim Sune, all the way from Alaska. Alaska. What you got, Kim? Throw down. We got amazing wild seafood from Alaska, the Pacific Northwest. Frozen seafood can be your friend. Seafood for Thanksgiving? Yes. yes. It'll lighten things up. Okay. Right? So what you fun. got? So believe it or not, you do not have to cook your seafood. You've okay. got some stashed in your freezer. All you have to do is take your wild Alaska salmon, yeah. which is what I have here, rinse it under some cold water, yeah. brush each side with a little bit of oil, stick it right into your pan. Look at you. And five, six minutes later, it's perfectly cooked. Wild seafood. I like that. Yeah. Thank you, Kim. Let's go down to Kayla Robinson, North Hello. Dakota. You got potato tips, we do. girl. So, Give it to uh, us. Potato. We're a potato state. Yes. Next to, you know, all the rest of the great potatoes. So my tip is making sure you got room and space. Yeah. Use your crock pot. Okay. Make mashed potatoes in your crock pot. What? It's so what? And one of the coolest tips. One of the coolest what is tips. It? What? Easy way to clean your mashed potatoes what? or your potatoes what? is in a dishwasher. <laughs> on rinse cycle. Oh, rinse cycle. <laughs> on the rinse cycle. <laughs> on the rinse cycle. Save your time. Save your time. Oh, and then sweet potatoes. Let's jazz up sweet right. potatoes. Let's do caramel chocolate and push them in there. <laughs> We got Eric Gr Gravinowicz representing Idaho. What Idaho. you got? Idaho. I got a little bit of potatoes. Yeah. Uh, but okay. uh, but our trick our trick is Terrible. the microwave, right? So uh, you're always looking for a place to put your hot food right before yeah. you're setting the table. Yeah. 45, 50 minutes. It's an insulated container. Pack that thing full of all your what? all your casserole dishes. Woo! That's one. Speaking <laughs> speaking of microwave, speaking of 20 microwave. seconds and you in the microwave and you can peel garlic super easy. Wait, of what course do you mean? It's not going to do it. Wait, you nuke it for 20, 20 and then seconds. peel it? And then peel it, it no. comes out. You want it. Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last little tip is just roast the garlic the day before and add it to everything. Put it on everything. Oh, put it on everything. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, y'all, I got Kay, I got Sarah Gruenberg representing yes. Texas, the yes. great state of Texas. The great state of what Texas. you got, babe? All right, so I got a tip for how to spice up your dessert. I like okay. to add a little savory to it. Okay. So you got brown butter pecans. Yo. You just want to get that butter brown. I like to add a little sea salt, <laughs> a little bit of cinnamon, and then if you want to spice it up, a little cayenne pepper. Yeah. Yeah. I take, I take these beautiful pecans and put them right on a cheesecake or your pie. Really a fun tip. Are to they just, just change yummy? It. They're delicious. Oh, I got y'all. <laughs> what y'all? to come to play, all right? The West Coast Chef just showed you how it's done. You can find all these recipes at today.com slash Thanksgiving. Have fun, Craig. Yeah, you know what? The West Coast is fine. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm here with 17 chefs representing the Midwest and the South. Tasty shortcuts for your Thanksgiving spread from barbecue turkey to pimento cheese stuffed deviled eggs. Yeah, that's right. The South and Midwest. But first, this is today on NBC. All right, welcome back to our United Plates of Thanksgiving, where we have chefs from all over the country bringing us holiday recipes, tips, tricks from other, from their home states, I should say, West Coast. Just kick things off with some tips for your turkey, size, desserts. Well, now, now it's time for all 17 of you from the Midwest and the yeah! South. West Coast, ha! <laughs> All right, so this is Darnell Ferguson representing the great state of Alabama. And most people are going to have a turkey on their table t uh, tomorrow. You've got a pro tip here for us. What is it? All right, so this is a Chinese barbecue turkey. This is not that salt and pepper West Coast turkey you get. <laughs> <laughs> What you got here is, well, the key to making a turkey is you should marinate it, you should baste it, and you should flavor inject it. So what I do is I wow. use like a soy sauce, I use brown sugar, hoisin, get a lot of flavor, because what's turkey lacking? Salt. That's true. Flavoring, so that's going to take care of everything. Okay. And then you just want to use a flavor injector right here. Oh, I actually got one. Woo! Put it right inside the turkey. Woo! So what you're going to do is you have flavor on the outside from basting it. Yeah. You have flavor on the inside from injecting yes. it. And then you're going to have me cooking it, so you got everything. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got everything. 
if they can't have you at the house, how long you put that in the oven for? Oh, I would break this down, cook the breast separate than the legs and everything. Because oh. the breast doesn't cook the same time as the rest of the turkey. You know what I'm saying? They don't do it like that on the West Coast. They don't but do it. But out here, you know, we like to think it through a little bit. Darnell, Darnell starting us off from Alabama. Let's move down to Michigan. Roxanne Spruance. Roxanne, thank you. Of course. Uh, so we got the energy here in the Midwest. Yeah, that's good, baby. So you've got a you've got a gravy tip here, and I read this, and I was like, oh, that's genius. Right. So when you take your pan drippings out of when you take your bird out to let it rest, put this in the freezer really quickly. Yeah. It'll separate, and then you can just scoop the fat right off the top without having to worry oh, about. What it is. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And then you can keep your gravy in a thermos, thermos. and keep it hot all day so you don't have to worry about it and work on your other stuff. That's smart. Very nice. That's very yeah. smart. Yeah, See, on the West Coast, starters. they wouldn't even, they throw No, West Coast has no they concept. Too hot, too hot. Yeah, gravy. Here's a familiar face, Elizabeth High School. Hey, honey. How are you? Good, good old Mississippi. Good, good Miss Mississippi right here. Yeah. You've got yeah. an onion cutting This tip. is unbelievable. So I've cut onions for 18, 20, 22 years. Yeah. I don't even know. I, you know, I'm very young. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, child chef so, you, I mean, and I've cried and I've cried and I've cried. I mean, I've put matches in my mouth. I've put bread in my mouth. There isn't a tip I, or trick I had tried. None of them worked, but I'm telling you, honey, I got it. So, uh -huh. I, all you do, once you start cutting, you take your salt and you rub it on your hands. Okay. And then, and then you get ready to cut. And I'm telling rub you, salt on your hands. I have no idea why. Yeah. I just know yeah. it. Any kind of I salt? Don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be kosher salt. It okay. can be anything. I mean, use something inexpensive. Yeah. I don't want you to go get your Himalayan sea salt that you went and got in Hawaii. What's but. the dish butter? So that is, honey, that is a squash casserole. Oh. And I know that. That is his language Why right there here. No spoon? Now then, this is the honey thing. Guys, because if you have gloves, you. you're not... And you're not going to need spoons. So get get yourself a pair of gloves and use that so that's less that you have to clean up. You know after you've eaten all this turkey, you're exhausted. You don't want to be doing a bunch of dishes. <laughs> so you mix it all up right there with your hands. Yeah. One or two less things okay. to have to clean right. yeah. 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 What's going on? Yeah. Jennifer, how are you? I'm Jennifer, well. representing yeah. the great state of oh, Arkansas. Yeah. 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 I'm most excited about your dish because oh, I can actually you. eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little shrimp on top. Walk me through this. Yes, magic. so you have a pimento cheese mm -hmm. stuffed mm -hmm. double eggs. Now you're speaking my language. There you go. Some smoked bacon, a little fried shrimp, and my tip. Oh, Save a little good. time. Thank you. Boiling eggs, peeling them. If you get to that point, you're 100. Now you want to dice it up quick, easy, and clean. So I just take a roasting rack yeah. or a cooling rack, put it on top of your yolks. Well, look at that. Oh. That's the way. That's Done. the way we do it. There you go. Matt Abdu here. My man. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Repping the bluegrass day. Repping Kentucky. You've Do got a doing great, our best. great dessert tip here. Yes, sir. So if we're trying to elevate our pies at the end of our meal or cake or any pastry for that matter, and you want to do a fancy spin off of a classic creme anglaise sauce, creme all, creme creme anglaise. Anglaise. all you got to do is either forget to put your ice cream in the freezer yeah. or just put it in the microwave for a little bit and let it defrost, and you're just going to pour your melted ice cream on the bottom of your plate. Look at that. If you want to get super fancy, put some chocolate in it and swirl it around, and then you're just going to put your pie right on top. And you've just made a super fancy pre representation of pie with that quick creme anglaise, if you will. It's a, it's a pecan pie. Chocolate pecan pie. That's, no, no, that's a pecan pie. It's a pecan pie. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. With you today. No, no, I know. That's all, that's all we're going to send it out to Al. Don't pecan. forget Arkansas <laughs> recipes. By the way, the interactive map at today.com uh, slash Thanksgiving, super cool. Check that out as well. Woo. Chefs, thank you. Thank you, Craig. We've got our East Coast chefs ready with some delicious ideas. Yeah, here we go, East Coast. Yeah.
of Thanksgiving, we are not done yet. You've already met 35 incredible chefs. Well, we've got our East Coast chefs right here. That's right, who each represent the states you are looking at right now. In just a moment, we're going to hear from five of them. But we want to remind you, you can head to today.com slash Thanksgiving to see all their dishes and tips with a special nod to this amazing group. We've got Jordan and Dino from Pennsylvania. We've got Will Gilson of Massachusetts, Esther Choi of New Jersey, Kwame Unwachi from Washington, D.C., and Jacine uh, Prado from Vermont. Let's get started. Jordan, come on up. All right. All right. What's your turkey tip? All right, Al, here's what we got going right here. Very simple. This is a roasting rack made of vegetables. So toss away that metal roasting rack, right. use all the drippings from the turkey, mm -hmm. and just get that veg soaked in. This you can even turn to gravy after. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend going this way. Okay. And a fun tip. If you have the leftovers, you can actually just make a, like a Philly cheesesteak mm -hmm. using the sliced turkey. You got some provolone, some, send in some of the turkey, but also if you have a dehydrated bun, uh -huh. Stick it in the oven, 350 degrees, 400 degrees for like one minute to yeah. two minutes. Boom. Boom. Nice and easy. And then you got yourself a sandwich. So there you go. That's, and then we can just make a nice Philly cheesesteak. Very nice. All right. Yeah, Thank you right. yeah man. There you Will go. Wilson, Massachusetts. All so right. This is going to be the trick to some of the best green bean casserole you've ever had. Uh -huh. So growing up in Massachusetts, we never had canned cream and mushroom soup. Right. We always had canned clam chowder. Right. So you take a little bit of that clam chowder yes. and mix it in there. Right. If you want the brightest, brightest green beans, blanching. Uh -huh. So we've got a little bit of uh, hot boiling water. Yep. Go in for about 30 seconds. Come right out. Yes. These guys go here. Take your clam chowder mm. instead of your cream and mushroom soup. Oh. Right over the top. Yeah. Add a little bit of lobster, the and we're there. And then the fried onions, and boom. Yeah. Next, who you got? Woo! Esther Joy. Hey, First of all, go Jersey. Yes, Jersey. Go Jersey. So all right. Jersey, it's all about the corn. Yes. Corn is my favorite side. Mm -hmm. And born and raised in Jersey, corn in Jersey is amazing. Okay, so first tip, screaming hot pan, yes. corn, yeah. you just want to blister it before adding it to your, any of your favorite corn blister dishes. Blister your corn. Blister your corn because it will give it that smoky char. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right? So we're going to blister that. Yes. And then another tip is you blend your corn and add it to any of um, substitution for dairy, milk. Oh, so, so yeah. Like corn milk. Corn milk, Very basically. Cool. Yeah, you can add it to your soups, your favorite sauce. Sauces, etc. Right? So, one last tip get your charred corn, add it to cranberry sauce, Ooh. and that will give it that salty, nice bite. Very nice, Esther. Thank you. Right. Bonnie, come on up. You've got butter tips for I us. got butter tips. Uh -huh. We're going to make some uh, spiced butter. So Ooh. D.C. is a melting pot of so many different cuisines, right. you know? And uh, we have a thing called mumbo sauce in D.C. Mumbo sauce. Mumbo sauce. Okay. So just leave a stick of butter out mm. overnight, yeah. and it'll soften. Add a little bit of tomato sauce, mm -hmm. some hot sauce, Ooh. and uh, a little bit of vinegar for acidity. Oh, that's and then you just mix that up, and uh -huh. you can put that on top of anything. Right. And then over here, we've rolled the butter into a log, mm -hmm. and then we've rolled it in a little bit of Old Bay spice. Very very nice. And, and then here's some herbs. Celery leaves, rosemary, thyme. Kwame, we appreciate that. Absolutely. All right. Gassine, what do you got? So, in Vermont, maple is the most precious thing in the world. Yes. You know what else is precious? What? Pie dough. Oh, love pie dough. And when everybody's dropping hot dishes everywhere mm -hmm. and you don't have a cool area, you are going to make one. Oh. You're going to put police tape down <laughs> and you're going, you can just keep a police or just take that out and it says pie uh, line, pie do, line. Not cross. do not cross so the you, And then you can also have some chalk mm -hmm. there, so you're going to make a chalk outline of anybody uh, that touches your oh, thing. Yeah, right. they're in trouble. Okay, and then what are you doing with these uh, frozen grapes? So if you don't like when ice melts mm -hmm. in your drink because you want the full vodka, yeah. you can put frozen grapes in there so you get a little chew a little snack and all that hundred proof goes straight in very nicely right? done yes all right big thank you you can check out these recipes on our interactive map on today.com slash thanksgiving we're going to be right back with all 52 chefs but first this is today on nbc Today, design team, the food stylist, the producers, Debbie Kasofsky, <laughs> our props department, the digital food team. Yo, and every um, single chef who came here today, yes. we're forever grateful. Yes. Um, 
I mean, this is quite the feast. It yeah. sure is. Check Maybe. out the interactive map, by the way, today.com slash It's really cool. Let's close the show with uh -huh. a group toast uh -huh. to a healthy yep. and happy Thanksgiving for everyone here on the plaza Ooh. and for all of you at home. Woo! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! By the way, some of these chefs are going to be sticking, sticking around for our third and fourth hours to put their spin on our family favorite recipes after your local news and weather. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving! Cheers, y'all! Cheers! Cheers! I like the West! And the South! I like us all. I know. Welcome to the Today Show. She prayed, I love her. I love her. More Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world.